Compound Objects Connect Tool. Here I got two spheres. And the connect tool is used to connect two or more objects at the holes in their surface. So I need to get some holes in this surface. So I'm going to pick on one, right click, convert it to an editable mesh. All right. So I could go to editable poly too. Um, let's go to editable poly. And I'll right click on this one, right click, and go to editable poly. Then I'll go into each of the sub objects and I'll either go to a face or a polygon and I'm going to come over here and go to a polygon and what I want to do is pick um, a face that's near each other that's facing each other a polygon excuse me not a face that's facing each other and I want to hit delete it so I'm going to hit the delete key and I'm going to do the same thing over here um, I'm going to Come over here and pick on this item, and I'm going to pick on a fa or polygon right, right there. Oh no, hang on! I got to select the polygons rather, and I'm going to pick on a polygon right there, and I'm going to delete it. And now I got two polygons facing each other. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the compound objects so I'm going to go to my command panel go to create tab I'm going to go to geometry I'm going to go to compound objects and I'm going to select on one of the objects which I have already and then I'm going to choose connect and I'm going to pick on connect and it says to click or drag to select objects so now with my polygon command I want to go to my uh, modify and I want to go over and pick on this polygon so right now I am in pick operant so it's wanting to know what is my operant B so I'll pick my operant I'll pick on this hole and BAM it just built a connection between the two so uh, let's take a look at some of the parameters here. So I could, in my interpolation here, I could pick segments. And I can cre increase this number of segments if I want to have uh, more numbers of segments in the new faces. In the tension, this is used to create a curve. And if I want to have uh, a curve, I need to have segments with a high number and smoothing. Um, I could have the smooth uh, and the bridge is used to put smoothness on the connecting faces of the object and the ends are used to uh, apply smoothness to the faces that are at the border of the old and new objects. And then down below I have uh, when I what do I want to update? I want to update the, the, res the results of the two or I could the result of just the uh, operands, the two holes or two uh, polygons in this case. When do I update? Always, whenever we're rendering or manually. So this uh, this connect is one, it has to be an editable object, either a mesh or poly. Two, the, the, the holes or the gaps, it connects holes between the two objects. They have to be facing each other. So we delete one and then delete the other, make sure they're facing each other. I select one of the objects and then I go into my compound objects connect. And as an operant, I pick the operant, I select the other side uh, to, to connect to. And as a result, we build a structure between one object and the other object.